In the last tutorial I showed you the button. Now, if we run, if we compile our form, and we run it, we'll see um, that button right there. Here's a button, and as you can see, it looks kind of plain. If we wanted to make the button look like it does in Visual Studios, to make everything look like it does in Visual Studios, at the bottom we're going to write application dot enable visual styles. And now if we compile it again, type in form one, now the button will look like it does in Visual Studios. Also, up here where he said class form one extends system windows form we, if we want we could just only write class form one extends form because we imported that up there and it will still work but now I'm going to show you the text box um, so to create a text box um, first thing we want to do is var text box one equals new text box then text box one dot name equals text box one um, text box one dot text we're going to give it nothing the text is which defaultly the text is basically which is in the text box that's just the text in the text box pretty simple text box one dot size equals new system dot drawing dot size a hundred by a hundred then text box one dot location equals new point zero zero and that's good enough for now let's now let's say this dot controls dot add text box one now to compile this we'll get a basic text box here we can type things into it and stuff like that and I'm also going to add button one dot add. We're going to add an event, and after the underscore, you basically just want to type in the name of your event. It can be anything um, that there's an event for. And so button one is event is click, and we're going to add the function button click. Um, then we got to create that function button click, and um, it has to take the arguments, it has to take a, uh, I'm going to name it sender instead of O this time, as an object. So this basically just says the data, um, the data type it's taking it as. And then a E as an event args. And when we click I'm going to do something. I'm going to declare this text box global, meaning I can use it in any function and access all all its properties. And to do that, I'm going to make a comment up here. I'm going to say global declarations. Global declarations. And to do that, see where it says var? I'm going to just remove var before type button one and text box one. And under global de declarations, I'm going to say var button one and var text box one that will declare them global now in any function to this class these are global to this class and I can use them in any um, part of this class now they're not just local to one part of the class so now I'm going to say when I click the button I want to say message box dot show I think it's the B is capitalized dot show text box one dot text now let's compile this now when you run it whatever we type into the text box it says hello world and we press the button it's going to display that in a text box what's up so let's see displayed in a text box so um that, so that, that we can now use functions to handle the text box text when I click a button or something. Um, now what I'm going to show you is some other stuff like we said the size to 100 100 100 but this doesn't look like it has the height of 100. That's because multi-line by default is set to false 
That means it forces your text box to only be one line. We need to set multi line to true. To do this, we just say text box one dot multi line equals true. Compile this. Now we can write multiple lines. Line one, line two, skip a few, line 100. Now when you click the text box, it's going to say all of that. Um, so now what I'm going to do is, so there's another nice little property, text box one dot scroll bars. And we set it set to scroll bars vertical. And now when we run this, we have a vertical scroll bar. So now if it, we, our text goes out the screen, we can just scroll. Um, I think the other one is scroll bars both. Yeah, both is for um, if it goes out the screen the other way. If you say, um, what is that thing called? Um, word wrap text box one dot word wrap equals false there you go word wrap makes it where the word wraps around and it goes out the text box if you set that to false it, it uses the horizontal scroll bar to let you scroll through the text um, so both puts both scroll bars vertical puts the vertical horizontal puts the horizontal and I think none removes all scroll bars. Yep, there we go. Now there's no scroll bars and word wrap is set to false. And so word wrap just is the same thing it does in Notepad. Um, as you can see, if I open up Notepad, if my text goes out the screen, it's going to wrap around. But if I turn word wrap to false, it creates the scroll bar. So that's basically it for the text box. Um, the text box does have events and stuff, and but th that's just it for this um, tutorial. And then next, I'll go go over menus.